The Widget Builder lets you bring the power of Wolfram Alpha right into your blog or website. Let's start and you'll see just how easy and powerful this can be. First, let's just go to the Widget Builder URL. And I'm already logged in, but if you're not logged in, you'll need a Wolfram ID, which you can get easily on the website. Now, as you can see, there's a big search box here, and the way you create a Wolfram Alpha widget is pretty much exactly like a Wolfram Alpha query. Let me give you an example. Let's create a widget that calculates the distance between any two cities. I'm going to type the distance from Boston to Chicago and do that search on Wolfram Alpha as you normally would do by clicking Try It. That gave me pretty much the search results as I would expect. Showed that Boston, Massachusetts to Chicago, Illinois is 852 miles and gives me a bunch of other information including this nice map. So I'm going to use this query uh, to build my widget. Now the next thing I need to do is go ahead and tell the widget builder what variables I want to change. So I'm going to highlight the city Boston first because that's going to be my first variable, the city I'm going from, and then highlight the variable Chicago. That'll be my second variable, the city I'm going to. To make that clear, I'm going to change the display label here to from city to city. Great. And that's really it. I click next and you can see my widget is almost done. Now let's just do a little to customize the layout. First, let's give it a name. Easy name is distance calculator. Makes sense, and you can see it already came into to the widget here. Another thing I'd like to do is move this submit button over a little bit, so I'm just going to take one of these spacers here, drop it up, and now the submit button is where I want it to be. Final thing I might want to do is my blog has a black background, so I'm going to click the black to give it a black highlight to the widget. Looks pretty good to me. Let's go to the next step. We can now customize the results. Down here you see the different information that came back from the query. If I choose include only specific output, I can now click on certain parts of the results to have them included. What I'd like to do is the distance and this map and then it show the assumptions so we can understand if it was Boston, Massachusetts or some other Boston that was chosen. So that's it for choosing the output. Let's click Next and there's my widget. It shows that I have choices of how it'll appear on the blog. I'm going to use a light box which is great and shows the city Boston to City Chicago. Let's try that. And there are my results exactly as I would expect. It assumes Boston, Massachusetts, shows the result distance of 852.3 miles and a map of, of Boston to Chicago. I could change this variable to see what happens if I go San Francisco. And once again, it works pretty much as I would expect. It shows 2,700 miles and the map. Perfect. So the last thing I really need to do now is to publish this widget so I can use it in my blog. Uh, the widget already has a name, City Distance. I'm going to put it in the category Places and Geography. Then let's put it in the description here. How about Calculate Distance between cities. That's great. Let's publish that to the gallery. And there's my widget. So now I'm really ready to share my widget. Um, I could embed this widget in pretty much any website or any blog by using the script available here under this icon. But I've got a blogger blog, so it's even easier for me to embed it. All I do is click on the Blogger logo, click here, and that takes me directly to Blogger. All I have to do is name my widget, so Distance Calculator, like I've used before, um, add that widget 
and decide where I'd like the widget positioned in the column, and that's a great place for it to be on my blog. So let's save that and take a look at it in the blog. As you can see, this widget immediately adds value to my air travel blog. People can come to my blog and calculate the distance between any city in the world. There are a number of other calculators that I could imagine would be very useful, and pretty much any website or blog can gain value by putting a Wolfram Alpha widget within that site or blog. The power of Wolfram Alpha widgets is pretty amazing. So there you have it. In a matter of minutes, we've created a cool calculator to embed in our blog, and we've actually embedded it in my blog. I hope you're ready to do that. But if you're not, you can also get widgets out of the gallery. You can see top-rated widgets like this calorie calculator. With a single click, you can get to the calculator and embed that widget in your blog or website, giving you the ability to calculate the amount of calories burnt by various exercises. There are hundreds of widgets like this already in the gallery and many more being added. Build your own widget or take one from the gallery, share it as you wish. Widget Builder adds a new dimension to Wolfram Alpha, putting the power of Wolfram Alpha all over the web in blogs and websites everywhere. Thanks for listening, and I hope you find this an exciting development for Wolfram Alpha, and more importantly, an exciting development for you and the entire web.